Hello, Mega Dimensions here, back for another video. I think last time we were like, arcade, but I was like, I think it was like taking too long. It was almost about to be an hour, I think. Two hours of. Oh, it's not gonna have that, so. So. Okay, so there's a niece. This can't be. Am I weaker than you? Roa, I'm going to kill you. Okay, move, move the mouse there. In the darkness, my knife crosses against his claws. His movement is almost blindly flat, fast, but my body follows him. My arms move as if they belong to someone else. My eyes persistently accurately look at just his lines. My entire body burns. My brain feels like it's on fire. Just like... Where this? Okay. Just like when I first saw that golden haired princess of the vampires, my body is like something else. <coughs> Roa springs away. One of his legs, his upper right arm, his left collarbone bo bone area, I've already cut through the line. The line's there. The price is my right arm. Roa first took my arm, holding my knife. So if he destroys my remaining left arm, it will mean my loss. In this situation, losing means certain death. I don't believe it. A match for me, a vampire. Your eyes, those are perhaps more appropriate for me than this body. If you don't realize it, then fine. The story is boring is a boring one. Not even worth talking about. With a shuffle, Roa increases the distance between us. Yes, it's a very old story. The last of a fool who obsessed over, a li over living forever. Just wondering who it was that actually won that. To live forever. That was the miracle that Roa dreamed about. I decide that everlasting cycle of rebirth is eternity. But that is no different than the continuation or continuation of a single bloodline. If there is such a thing as a power that Roa will accept that death can earn at the end of his reincarnation, instead of power that steals the lives of others like vampires. I'll just the power you have. I just the I just the thought the power you have, the power to see death, was an improper end for me. His body lowers a bit. I just had this ridiculous idea. His arms reaches out. I slide through it in instantaneously. Gah! Roa runs away. I fall after him. His movements are many times faster than mine. But that doesn't matter. Wait, that doesn't matter? No, okay. Just killing. I don't care about anything else. In reality, I already killed one of his legs, and his speed is reduced. As he runs away, he braces his hand against the wall and glares at me. Shit. Do you intend to fight your fight yourself, Shiki? Don't be silent. You're me. I am Shiki. And you are Shiki. We are the same type of being. It doesn't matter if that bastard Roa existed or not. I was originally a creature eating human flesh. As a child, I had this urge to eat human flesh. Even though that has changed to drinking blood, if Roa had, had, had entered my body, I would certainly become a human eating monster. But that's the same for you. Like I enjoy eating human flesh, you enjoy killing others. Remember the urge you had when you first saw that woman, that ecstasy of killing with that knife? The urge I had when I first saw her, that was when I killed Arquaid. Yeah, that's right. No matter how much you pretend to be a good person, that's something you can't, you can't excuse. You want that woman, 
and then the thing that you got got you most excited. What can you call that other than being a killer? Than being a killer? You and I are the same. We're both unnormal people living in the same place. Shut up. If I hear his voice any longer, I'll go crazy. Yes, the same. So why are you trying to kill me? It's just Roa that entered me. If Roa entered you instead, our positions would have been reversed. But you're going to but you're going to kill me. You're just hurting yourself. Roa screams. These past eight, eight years, a monster who made his lair in the city, being off the blood of countless people screams. I'm not you. You're just a killer. Idiot. You don't understand, do you? I thought so too at first. That I'm saying. That even if Ro will was well, here, I thought it would be fine. But it wasn't. You're the same. You're like me. It will end up as the killer told Shiki. He laughs. Isn't that right? I know that inside you too. You know that impulse is not something that that flows from me to you. Just admit it, killer. Your inversion impulses is nothing more than what you wish for. I'm ready, my knife. I don't want to hear his voice any longer. I focus my gaze on him. All that's left is to slice. Is to slice them. Oh no, it's like red. That's, that's cool. I see. You're trying to kill me, Shiki. He pulls back. That is his final move, but don't you ever. But don't you ever. But do you ever wonder which one of us was really killed? Suddenly, I hold my attack. Yes, and, and both of us died in that place. So I might be the one who, the, the one killed by Rua. And you might be the Tono Shiki taken. By the s taken over b b by the serpent, right? Hey, Shiki, don't you ever think about about it this way? That you have not realized it, but you are already insane long. You are already insane a long, long time ago. That can't be true, can it? <laughs> I get kicked in the wall from behind. Gah! What is this? Being distracted by such stupid words, my remaining left arm becomes sh shredded and painted in blood. I can't move in, in one bit and my knife clatters onto the floor. And in front of me, Rose stands with his furious bloodshot eyes. Idiot. That's not it at all. I'm Roa. You had that inverse impulse because you were connected to me subconsciously. He grins. Roa takes a step forward. But, Shiki, it's been fun. With that, he swings his knife like claws downward. There's no pain. Just a sound of splashing blood. You bitch! Rose's voice rings out. In front of me, somebody's body takes full force of Rose's claws. I can't think of anything. No, there's no need to think. I screw up my fallen knife with my mouth. My teeth... Tie around the, the hilt. My dad told his roll almost like I was collapsing into him. I sliced the line running diagonally from his shoulder. Gah! He screeches like a dem demonic bird. Running away from Senpai and me, he jumps directly into the into the window and falls out. The glass shatters and he falls outside. I won't let you get away. I run to the window. Damn! But of course, I can't jump from the third floor. Under the moon, under the moonlight, as if he didn't receive a fatal wound by having his lines of death cut. Ro runs away like a beast. I can't chase him. From here, I can't chase him. But it seems like there's no need for that. Under the moonlight, Ro running figure stops. There isn't one person outside, but two. Well, one, the beast-like figure of Roa. One, the sunlight white figure of the vampire princess. The, the fight lasted only an instant. 
Rose screams as he, as he dies and fades to ash. R. Quaid. She stands there composed and looks at me, then disappears before my eyes. Ah! I'm exhausted. My body collapses on the floor. Leaning against the wall, I sit down. Gah. The knife falls from my mouth. From my elbow down, my right arm is shattered, twisted and split. Rose claw marks remain gouged until my left shoulder and my left arm hangs unmoving. I feel like a squid or an octopus with both my arms just having hanging there. Senpai? Look down the hallway. Look down where Senpai had collapsed where she protected me earlier. And there... Senpai, you're, are you, your wounds are okay? Yes. A wound like this will heal quickly. I cannot make out her face it's, since it's, it's dark. Since it's dark. But I thought it looked paler than usual. Gah. Headache. This headache. Because I still see these lines. I have this headache. Tonokun, what's wrong? Nothing, it's just my headache. My head hurts. The man replies, I bear the pain. My hands. If I can move them, I can hold my head, make it calm down. But they don't move an inch. Probably because you saw too much death. Tonokun, you are pushing yourself too much. Try, trying to defeat Robo by yourself was re being reckless. It's not reckless. You're the one being reckless. Why did you let him do that to you? He just caught me off guard. Idiot, I, he I heard all of it. I heard how Senpai threw away her swords to protect me. Going through that just, just to protect me was stupid. Going through that and calling out my name, there's something wrong. I suppose, no matter what I did, you were saved by yourself. You revived by yourself. I guess I was just doing useless things. No, that's not it at all. But I heard you. Tonokun? Your voice, I know I heard it. You have calling my name, so it, so it made me realize that I was still alive. So, what what saved me wasn't my desire to kill Roa, but it was just Senpai's voice. Tonokun, your wounds, do they hurt? Please, we all heal them. No, it's not really my arms. The headache is terrible. Pain is coming from the outside, but it feels like chewing out from inside me. It's reaction from seeing too much death. Suddenly overworking your brain like that is probably cause much blood flow. I know, I know, but... Look, your power is very dangerous to you, Tonokun. Seeing that, that that which should not be possible, the sea puts a huge strain on your body, and your blood vessels will not be able to handle the flow of your blood. Seeing death of seeing close to you, like humans, shouldn't be a problem, but seeing the death of things, then they wouldn't actually have a death. Is extremely dangerous. Yeah, that's okay. Though, Senpai. Ro is now dead. I don't have to see any more death. So I don't have to see them. Senpai, do you know where my glasses are? Huh? My glasses. Without them, I, I, I see the lines all the time. If I don't have them, I'll go crazy. They're probably in the tea ceremonies. Please get them for me. Tonakun, what you're saying are definitely... I understand. I'll get them right away, so please close your eyes. If you use them any longer, it'll be really bad for you. Yeah, I'll do that. Thanks. I close my eyelids. After only a few moments, I can feel somebody's fingers on my face. Here he goes. Um, it's all okay now. Please open your eyes, Tonokun. Ah, the lines of death are now gone. My headache disappears as I close my eyes, and I can now see somebody's face clearly. Thanks, Senpai. 
Now it's back to normal. What you're saying? There's still somewhere before you return to Nora, so please keep still. She says, and sits down beside me. Hmm? These wounds aren't that bad. I'll be able to heal them. These wounds aren't really that bad. I'll heal them right away, so please hold on just a little longer. So by Kirk, as he reaches out, out and holds out my twisted arm. <clears throat> There's almost a tickling, a warm sensation. My cold arm begins to warm up again, and the numb pain returns after that. Ow. If there's pain, if there's pain, it lets you know you're, you are alive. Now let's take care of your left arm. With a light step, she moves over my left side and puts her hand on my shoulder. Amazing. The amazing. My left arm is already healed. Isn't it amazing? This is my normal profession, so it's only natural I can do that. Her normal profession? Is she a nurse or something? Well, I don't think a nurse could can heal a shattered arm like that in a matter of minutes, though. Hey, senpai. Yes? Just what kind of person are you? Gonna think of it, I don't really know anything about you, Seo Senpai. The fingers over my wound suddenly stop. But it's only a momentary reaction. I'm the same as you, Tonokun. I also have. I also have. Not have this body from birth. I was so close to death. No, I was someone who died, came back to life. And it just became a habit for me to come back to life. Is she joking? She gives a pain smile. What do you mean? When you could die, you know we can't come back, come back, right? Well, finally, a. a, a you fair phrase well sound like Shiro Emiya. Brilliant. What am I saying is that I am not normal. Not normal like Arakway. She doesn't respond. Is she done? Somebody stands up. There's a there, all finished. How is it? Can you move? I lift my hands and move them around. My finger can move at will and and there's only a little pain. Yeah, no problems. Thanks, Senpai. I just always helped by you. I'm, I'm always just helped by you. Senpai doesn't answer and she just smiles. Then let's go back. There's no need to be here any longer. Senpai starts to walk away. Picking up my fallen knife, I follow her out of the school. The two of us walk to the gate under the moonlight. Senpai doesn't say anything. Looking at her back, I think we're looking about things I don't want to consider. Ro is gone. Argy is also gone. The purpose was to eliminate Roa, so Senpai has no reason to stay here any longer. This is serious. I knew all along, but I never thought this would come so quickly. I want Senpai to stay here. I want her to stay, but it isn't but it isn't just my problem. I see a glance at Senpai's face. What does Senpai plan on doing? And then Senpai suddenly stops walking. Tonokun! She looks directly at me with her eyes to avoid any emotion. What is it, Senpai? About what we were talking about before. Before, about how you're like. how you're like Arakwais? She nods. She's still staring at me in the eye, she starts to speak. Tonokun! If I was a vampire, what would you do? What? My mind goes blank. I don't know what she wants to hear. Still, senpai senpai. Even if you're a vampire, then that wouldn't change. Her expression remains the same. Just for an instant, I think she smiles sadly. I'm the same as her. Just just like she's a vampire who has no experience. Who had no experience. I just might be a vampire who has no sense of self. She speaks as if it was a monologue. No sense of self. I'm a loss for words. I don't know what to say to that. So, just like before, I can only say what I really feel. That's fine. Eh? I said that's fine. Even if you're a vampire, I still like you, Senpai. What? Senpai stands there in complete amazement. Realizing what I just said, I, I blushed fiercely and look away. Anyway, 
That's all I want to say. Come on, let's go back, Senpai. Trying to hide my embarrassment, I pulled myself to re reality. Go back. Where's somebody going to return to? I suddenly feel terrible. I'm afraid to look at her face and can't turn around. Tell the gun. From behind me, somebody's voice calls out. A quiet emotion voice. What is it? I answer without turning. You know why I came to the city, right? Yeah. Unfortunately, I know. You came to kill Roa. Yes. But I haven't told you why yet. I really meant to tell you the tears in her room, but things ended quickly. That's true. It was kind of disappointing. But wasn't you changing role part you do it in the church? No. The place I am in doesn't really have much work. Even when there is, it's only a few times a year I get call out, call there. So this time it's, it's my own judgment. No, not because of, of the orders of the church, but because I came here through my own will. Your will? Yes. I care only because of my own circumstances. I want to die as a human, so I've been chasing Roa. He's the reason my body has become like this. I want to die. Wants to die? For that sole reason, I kept on living like this. But that's all over now. These past five years. Was it a long time? Was it a short time? I don't know. Her emotions voice stops. She jumps directly in front of me. So I have to thank you, Tonokun. My work here is done now. All that for me is to take responsibility for all my actions. Senpai, you mean she's going to leave? Thank you for anything, for everything, un everything until now. It has been a long time since I've been this happy. So let's finish with a handshake. Then pulls out her hand. I worsely, I, I worsely accept it. A handshake where we only grip our hands tightly. Then this, then this is where we part. Um, even though I'm not going to be um, even though I'm not going to be here, please stay friends with Inukun. I wanted to be a student like you and Inukun. And please take take off your glass. Don't take your glasses too much. Strange powers that tend to do strange things. You're fine this time, but I don't know what will happen the next time. Yeah, I know. Someone told me that a long time ago. In the first place, I only recently began to Reason begin to take them off with everything that has been happening. I see. Then it is a relief. Her fingers pull back. With a handshake over, she pulls back slightly. And this is farewell. It'll be nice to me again someday. I can't reply. I couldn't even stop her. I return to the mansion. It's past nine and nine and night, an hour past curfew. Ah, Shiki san, you'll come back late today. Ah, Shiki san, you'll come late today. She might, she might have been in the sitting room until now as Kohaku comes out to greet me. I'm back. Sorry about that. No, as long as you're back safely, it's okay. I'll go make dinner, so please wait in the sitting room. Uh, is I go there? Not because I I broke curfew, but after hearing what what, what Roa said, I don't think I could talk to her, her now. No, no, she's in her, her room, so you can rest assured. So you can rest assured. No, that's not it. But hey, Kohaku-san, in this house, I the you're. Uh, but hey, I, Kaku san, when this house, um, did you ever hear of me, Aiga, having their brother? I don't think so. Why do you ask, Shiki san? Did something happen? No. I just heard something about me having a brother, and I wasn't really sure. You and Aiga are the only two siblings. I have worked in this mansion since I was a child, so it can't be a mistake. She, she smiles happily. Oh, uh, Kohaku-san's so cute. Eh? Kohaku-san, you've been working here since back then? Yes. We were just apprentices, but he's 
Chad and I have around the mansion. It did happen a long time ago, so it's natural that you don't remember. Is she getting nostalgic? She continues to smile as she heads back to the sitting room. I'm not going to say anything about that. Because spoilers. Just what is he saying? Just what he was saying. I guess it doesn't matter anymore. I'm addressing myself. I walk towards the sitting room. I lie down in bed. Pulling the sheets over me, I stare blankly at the ceiling. It's over. I still have my wounds and my memories, but it's all over. Now I can return peaceful life as a high school student. No need to think about killing or being killed anymore. Just forget. Forget about everything from tomorrow. I can't. There's no way I can forget. Damn it. But I can't do anything about it. From the beginning, Senpai and I always lived in different worlds. I just had to go to sleep. I'll be able to take it. I'll be able to take it tomorrow. I'll sleep now so I can calm down. I can't sleep. My chest is still bothering me. Oh well. I choose a book of the English sentence to read so I can drift off to sleep. 1976. I was born as a child of a shoekeeper from a remote countryside village in France. I looked like my mother, who was orient oriental, so I grew up feeling a little out of place whenever I went. But all the talented people were great people and were greet me with bright smiles. To be able to face those smiles, I lived my days honestly and positively. Helping my dad going to school, falling in love like normal. Helping my dad going to school, falling in love like normal. That was my life, and I never doubted my happiness. It was truly a very short time until my 16th birthday. That came suddenly into my body, suddenly as when, when I would be playing with the children. For no reason, I wanted to snap their necks. Such as when I see a poor beggar by the road. It seems so funny, I wanted to stab them with a knife. There is no reason for these feeling, for those feelings. I could not talk to anyone about it, so I started to lock myself away in my room. My dark passions came forth within me. It's not like I had two personages or, or someone inside me. First of all, I don't believe in such unscientific things. My feelings are small, destructive passions everyone has. Like yelling at your dad after coming to wake you up after you stayed up all night. Like feeling angry when you walk along a raining street and a car pass passing by splashes you with water. Such small feelings I feel for an instant solidify inside my mind and take over. That's why I knew I had to do something, te do something terrible if I stayed like this. I can only lock myself away in my room. I cannot see anyone and do nothing. I can only, I can, I can not, I can only not see anyone and do nothing. That way, I cannot hate anyone, and I wouldn't have those feelings. But that was a mistake. In prison, in my room, my mind was grinding away, and I eventually passed my limit. That day, there was completely replaced. I was completely replaced. What I thought, but how thirsty I was. I took my weakened body out of my room. My parents ran to me. As I came out of the room for the first time in a few months, greeting, greeting my word with a smile, I killed them. It was really quite quick. With my weakened body, I bit their necks and sucked their blood. After sucking out their blood and life, I stood back up. Has it been a Has it been a hundred years? Has it been a hundred years?
This spy is very fascinating. That was my voice that I I've ever that was my voice that I ever heard before. My lips snapping a smile will you be do you used to be me hug myself. What what kind of coincidence was it? What kind of coincidence was it? Originally, the family I was born into was one I chose beforehand. But my previous self was destroyed by the prince before I could decide that. I could only find the, con the condition that one I reincarnated into has a physical potential, resulting in an imperfect reincarnation. As a result, I was born into a body of a high potential, but into a normal family without a high social standing. It would be difficult to take over this town without having people notice. But I was not disappointed. In fact, I was filled with happiness. Surely, it will take a long time for a normal, for a normal family to gain power. Seizing power socially will be difficult with, it, with this self. But in exchange for this inconvenience, I found a truly excellent body. Until now, I always try to balance the body and family standing. Consequently, I never be able to find a truly excellent body. However, the body this time carries many more magical circuits than any of the bodies before, and this body has the same potential as my original. Oh, that's interesting. I curse my calculating self up, up to now. Things like social standing that can always be set up later, but the quality of the body is something natural that cannot be added later. After my 17th reincarnation, I finally realized the truth. Myself that finally awoke, Nazis. Myself that finally awoke, started to control the people around me, like water soaking into the ground. Now in a wild manner, I done, I done so previously. Yeah, I'm gonna switch, switch the voices. I done previously, but rather in a way that didn't spill as much blood. The reason is horribly cruel. The recording will called by self cannot exist by itself. All I can do is tell the will I want to do that. I am the one moving this body, but the method, the process was determined by my mind, which has grown along with this body. In other words, my will is from the body I reincarnate into, but my consciousness still remains from my original self. Uh, my consciousness and I have my past memories. As I sleep, I could only dream of nightmares, which I could do myself. I still remember the sensation of buying into. I, I still remember the sensation of buying into my parents' throats. I took the townspeople who always greeted me one by one, as if melting them slowly from their feet. I continued to humiliate and mutilate their souls. Within just a month. I held their lies in my fist and played them with them however I wanted to. I wanted to go crazy. I wanted to entrust myself completely to insanity. But if I do that, I'll commit even more sins than before. That's why I kept on trying to preserve my sanity. I tried to minimize the damage I did. If there was such a thing as, as a relief. It was the end to this nightmare. Quick, arrived quickly. That white woman. That white woman came on a night with a crimson moon. I didn't know, but I knew who she was. After our first fight, the white vampire princess killed me. Since I re. After our first fight, the white. Vampire princess killed me. Since I already prepared myself for the next reincarnation, I was regenerated, leaving my corpse behind. The white princess left, my, and my body was taken to the Vatican. To the Vatican. Oh, wow, wow. Yeah, that's, that was very interesting. Chapter 10 Red Residue, Part 2. We're in the 10th day. I woke up and start and start to kick all my sheets 
Sitting up in bed. What? I rubbed the sweat rolling down my face. Maybe I saw a bad dream. I'm drenched in sweat. I'm drenched in sweat. I don't remember seeing a nightmare. Was it because of that book I read? I think I saw something a little bad, but I don't remember what it was. Well, a famous doctor said, It is the nature's dream to fade away, so I shouldn't try so hard to try to remember it. Knock, knock. I don't know why they didn't make the sound. I polite, I polite knock sounds. Good morning, Shiggy Sama. Morning. I return her green and stand up. Easily placing the uniform in her hand into the desk and shovels quickly back towards the door. Please head to the dining room once you're finished. Yeah. Thanks, anyways. They're giving a firm answer as we exit the room. Huh? After seeing her face, I completely forgot what it was what I was thinking about. Jeez. Was I always this forgetful? Tilting my head in curiosity over myself, I change into the uniform. The knife in, is in my desk, the knife from my adopted father that I've always been carrying in my pocket these past few ye days. I probably won't to use I probably won't have to use that anymore. That's right. They're gone. Arquid CL Senpai. The horde of beasts called Nero and the vampire called Roa. All of them are no longer here. Hmm. Alright, is that true? Maybe what I forgot was something about that. There isn't anything waiting for me for at school. Somebody's gone, so it probably won't be fun anymore. But that's how But that's how was how I lived my days up to now. I only lost something that I gained recently. Everything I had before that still remains. <sighs> If I think about it that way, I can manage without Senpai. I can never forget her, but I can manage. Fooling myself with that, I open the door. Then let's go to school like i always been doing. It's 7.50. The gate, at the, the gate at the front of the school is crowded with students. This is Saturday. There are bright faces everywhere. I wade through the sea of sunny places as a cloud of gloom. No matter what I tell myself, the fact that somebody's gone weighs heavily on my- Eh? I can't believe my eyes for a moment, but there's no doubt. See, all senpai is walking toward the school? S -s senpai I saw her name well and thinking she turns towards me. Otono-kun. Good morning. She gives me a bow. Good morning? Didn't you go back? No, I will never go back leaving you here. He speaks with a brilliant smile. Never going back leaving me here? Even though there are students all around me, I I feel myself a bl I mean, I, I feel myself blush fiercely. Um, that is... Yes, what is it? Can I take those words for what they sound like? Yes. I leave it up to your imagination, Tonum Kun. She nods and gives a radiant smile. I can't breathe. Not because of the pain and tension I, I, ha I, I felt up to now, but because of the brain happiness that now wells inside me. Yes, as I suspected, it is not over. We still have an enemy. That was chapter 10, so we're nearly at the, we're near the ending, so. If no one was around, I would shout, Oh, alright, that's all in my lungs! Senpai, I grab her hand. Do you mean you won't go anywhere, right? You will stay here at school forever, right? I mean, if I stay school at forever, I'll become an old lady. <laughs> ah, an old lady. That's neat. I am a third year student, so I have four months left into my graduation. But you stay here, right? Don't leave. You won't leave like you said yesterday, right? Yes. I'll see you on to the end now. 
All right. I let go ahead and managed to stop myself. I want to run around the ground for many laps. As if I won a lottery, I'm feeling really high. No, this... No, this feels far greater than that. I feel like laughing out loud. I can't even bear to stand here doing nothing. Tell no kun you should hurry or you'll be late. Oh, oh, yeah, that, that's right. There, senpai. See you at break. Waving a hand at two senpai. I go towards the school building. Spying on myself, I run as fast as I can to class. That is sight. First period is over. I have 10 minutes until the next class. Alright. This is I raise my hand to go look to Senpai's room, huh? Where are you going, Tonokun? Senpai comes ahead of me. I don't know where I was going to see you. I was waiting for you, so I thought I would see you this time. I see. That makes me very happy. But you don't know my class, right, Tonokun? If the third year has B, it's cl a third year class B. Please remember it. Oh, really? So you really do take classes? Well done, well done. I see. So you, so you do more than drink tea in the tea ceremony room? Yes, I do math to follow classes. Hey, wait a minute, Tonokun. You think I really like that? Huh? Uh, I can't really deny that. Ah, oh, sorry, but somebody you said there were no members at the tea ceremony club, but I thought it might never exist in the first place. Somebody stands there and grows quiet. Huh? Don't tell me there really wasn't. It is just an unused Japanese star room. Hmm. It seems like I do understand what you're talking about. Zemo Senpai turns her gaze out of the window and stares blankly. So, that was the case. No, that's fine. No matter what you've done, you're not a bad person. I don't think you'll cause any trouble. But can your power suggestion do such a thing? I already told you. I don't know what you mean. So I can't answer that. So, my see. I see a sem I see your senpai. The sign lasts about a minute. You're pretty persistent, Tonokun. Not really, I was just thinking of how your blue eyes were. Senpai gives a sigh as a minute defeat. I say that already, but the passage isn't that convenient. Suggestion isn't much able to change your perceptions of things, it's more like making you look away. So if I told you that you really like curry, when you hate it, it might not work. Really? So you can't make someone to do what they don't want to? Yes. Well, there's so many ways to make you eat curry, Tonokun. <laughs> For example, I can tell you... I won't tell you that you really like curry. Instead, I could tell you that, that you could die if you didn't eat curry. I get it. I'll eat... If I hate it, I see, then you can do that. anything with that. No, it's really difficult to set the stage for such a thing as the resistance would be great. There are many people that are difficult to force you suggestion against, so all I can do is suggest something like, don't doubt what I say. Yeah, Arco says something like that too. I see. By the way, Senpai. Yes? Why is it? Yeah. You really. Senpai, you really love curry, don't you? See how someone just smiles and does not answer. Her silent expression makes it impossible for me to see if she is denying it or affirming it. Well, it's about time. I'll see you after class is over. But, you're, but is your body okay, Tonokun? Your arms are working fine. Yeah, it doesn't even hurt anymore. I can come to school thanks to you. I ring my hands to her and give her a bow of thanks. I see. Then how's your headache? It seemed like it really hurt yesterday. My head is okay too. Besides, if 
Oh, I have my glasses on. There's no problem. I see. Hearing that makes me feel much better. Okay, I'm recording. Yes, okay. <laughs> I was just checking. Anyways. Anyways, I'm back. I, I don't know. I was like, yeah, I just... Yeah, I, I will not say how I I pause my videos. I think I think you can kind of guess what that comment. <laughs> and I think I went to bed because I think I don't know. It was like right after I record and stuff. Blah 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 blah. So I see. Then how's your headache? It seemed like it hurt yesterday. My head is okay too. So I have my glasses, no problem. And yeah, I read this. Anyways, it just be like that. <laughs> I see. Here that makes me feel much better. So as somebody heads towards the hallway, she suddenly stops as, as if she forgot something and turns around. I forgot to ask. Donakun, are you feeling well? Yeah, I'm fine. Thanks to you, all my troubles disappeared. That's good. If anything strange happens, then please do not hesitate to tell me. Here's my phone number. Oh, a girl's giving me a phone number. Hmm. Neat. Eh? She hands me a slip of paper of her phone number on it and quickly leaves the classroom. Her phone number. Sarazan stares down at the paper in surprise. I'm sure she told me this because she was really worried about last night, but... This is lucky, but it's a good. Th but good things are going this. But oh wait, no, no, repeat that. This is lucky, but is it good that good things are going this smoothly? And my voice cracked a bit. <laughs> Who cares about that? <laughs> it's pitiful if I say so myself. I mean, that's something I say all the time. <laughs> Maybe it's because I'm a small town person by nature. But I can't honestly be happy about my good fortune like this. So you're li you're like Shiro in that regard. As a Shiro, Shiro's a bit kind of me, but you get a point, right? After homeroom is over, the classroom suddenly erupts into into the usual chaos. It's not quite noon yet. It's always like this after Saturday's class. The students rushing back home or eating in the classroom before they go to the club activities mixed together and create chaos. Thank gosh I don't have Saturday classes. <laughs> Even the high, uh, you know, good thing my like high school, elementary to high school doesn't have Saturday classes because oh gosh that would be torture. And I don't have Saturday classes because I'm not going to get there. I'm college now. I can pick anything I want. <laughs> Schedule. Unless I'm too late, you know. Standing up from my seat, I prepared my things while waiting for Senpai, and then I'm not sure. I'm not sure when he came to school, but Argo appeared with this suspicious smile on his face. Let's go play Tono. Let's go play Tono. Without anything else, he tells me what he wants to do. You seem pretty direct today. Is something bad happened to you? Oh, nothing. I just wanted to hang out with my good friend for no reason. It's all too suspicious. No way. I bet you were laid off by someone or something like that. I'm going home with Senpai today, so I don't have t t time to spare for you. Senpai? You mean see your Senpai? His eyebrows lift in surprise. Yes, but Arco, see you remember about Senpai. What do you mean? I mean, she who I'm after. How can I forget her? <laughs> Arka makes his proclamation as if it was the most natural thing in the world. And I really need to get a better voice for him. I see. Then see how somebody came back to school. Everything is back the way it was. Oh, it's Senpai. Arka points happily to the door. Thanks for waiting. Good afternoon, Inukun. See you guys. Hey, uh, uh, well, I have not seen that word before. Sunkuniat. 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 I don't know. I'm gonna pretend those words are silent. 
Bow. Shall we go back now? Or maybe go to the tea cer ceremony room? Let's do that. Early now, we'll be part of the uh, the we'll be at the part of the gate. I want to talk to you more. So while we have tea, we can't. Someone punched me. I'm struggling from behind. Hey, it's you, Oriko. Yeah, it's me. I am not one to open my mouth up about these very, very often. But since that, that was too much back then. But since that was too much back then, I'll tell you. Arco looks at me, and somebody with sad eyes. Hmm? Is that somebody to look at each other? Um, um, you too. It's sad, so why don't you use it, it like that? Why do you use it like that? There are far more fun places to go. There are tea ceremony room. I can't scream with his voice. Gosh, I tried. I was trying, but I just couldn't. He doesn't have that voice. We're greatly exaggerating movement. He points out the window. You know, Argo's voice is the only one that never changed at all. Um, where? Outside the outside the window. Well, I think he's talking about outside. I answer see um I answer see senpai's question. Oh so And then Arco whacks me again. Tono, are you really trying to make a f make a fool of senpai? Look, it's Saturday. It's still before noon. And we're students. So why can't you come up with an idea such as going into town of all these conditions? Hmm. <laughs> Idiot. I thought about that already. I did, but... I see a glance at a CEO senpai. I got a feeling that rather than roaming roundly around the city, she'll feel more at ease just sitting quietly in a park or something. So I can't just ask her that. I have to ask her to hang out in town. I think she'll probably say no. Uh, not this route, she wouldn't. Or any other route. I don't know. It's confusing at times, you know? I see. Then shall the three of us have fun? Sun? Bye? Isn't it alright? I don't have to worry about anything anymore. And and I bet it'll be fun to go out with the three of us. Oh yeah, if you want to, then I'll be happy. Yes. Either can, are you, you're okay with, with this too, right? He, he simply nods and up and down. I bet he didn't expect things to turn out this way. Then it's decided. Um, what should we do for lunch? Shall we eat at our, our house or the three of us together? Mm, we always eat at school. So let's put the money for lunch to play. Me and Ark are pretty poor, right? Um, I can borrow some money for, um, I can borrow money for my sister. And since our girl really wants to go out play and eat with Sia Senpai. How about Senpai? Is there some place you want to eat? No, I don't usually eat in front of others. I see. Eat more than normal, so I bet it'll be expensive. Expensive. That, that, that's not it. Uh, well, I don't know. Sing Katsu no Toya. Gosh, Sing Katsu no Toya. It seems that's otherwise, but that's more of a... But that was more comedic than anything else. So that's more of a grain of salt. So, I don't know. Maybe I record Katsu no Toya. It was a fun game. I don't know about how Araxia, that one, <laughs> I never f could find the true ending. <laughs> Why are you saying Tonokun? I, I just recall the data I collected through our lunches and then teased her until now and just gave a personal opinion. I agree with Inukun. Let's, let's all go out to eat. She dodged the question. There is a place by the movie theater called the... And, and put there, and put there. I know it's French on them. I'm at the, 
and the bear that I heard has a great strawberry pie. Wait, strawberry pie? Those things exist? Mm, that sounds tasty. No, I can now have the scent of strawberries for some reason. Oh, you know your place is senpai. The owner of that cafe is a master of Italian cooking. So, is Italian, is Latin then? I don't know. Why does Argo know so many rumors and useless information? Then let's meet in front of the movie theater in half an hour. Is that alright, Tonakun? Um, you know it takes half an hour to get to my house, senpai. Senpai has already started to disappear down the hallway. Yeah, be late, Tono. If you want to, I won't care if you didn't come until tomorrow. Argo stands up and dashes out of the classroom. This all worked out rather strangely. Oh, well. I still get to hang out with Senpai. See you, Senpai. Back in hand, I rush back to my place. Oh, she's... Okay, Shiki-san, you're back early today, aren't you? Yeah, I'm back, Kohaku-san. I'm hurry, so see you later. Shiki-sama, you, you have returned. I'll be leaving right away, so don't worry about lunch. Alright, 15 minutes. I see, an I see a new record. My school to back here. Throw my bag in my desk, I changed out my uniform. After that, I fly out of my room again. From the mansion to the main street is rather than further than the mansion to school. Wait, wait. Forget. Freaking. Oh, I don't want that. Okay. To be, to be honest, it's not the distance I can make in 15 minutes. She knew I lived uphill, but she still made that, imp that impossible deadline. Damn, she might be a bit mean. Our grandma's are shoot down the stairs. Eh? Suddenly, without warning, everything turns red. Shiki-sama! I hear Hisui's voice. I hear fast footsteps. Hisui seems to be in hurry, be in hurry more than usual. Shiki-sama, you're hurt? I can hear her voice, but I can't see her. I just have this headache. Calm down, he switched Chan. Uh, falling down. Calm down, he sweet son. Oh, my throat, gosh. Falling down the stairs just just means a little bruises here and there, so still need to call a doctor. I don't know. Oh, uh, that's probably Kohaku san. Okay. And why put san? I don't know. Okay, let me repeat this in Kohaku's voice. Calm down, Hisui san. Falling down the stairs just means a little bruises here and there, so there's no need to call a doctor. But his body, but his body is very hot. He may have fell down the stairs due to a fever, so please get his bed ready. I understand. Nay, son. Nay, son, but Aika sama. That's true. If it doesn't turn out to be a big deal, we don't have to tell her. There's some medicine in my room, if you please. He soon disappears with quick footsteps. I. Shiki san, Shiki san, are you conscious? Haku san? Yes. Shiki san, you, you took quite a tumble down the stairs. Fortunately, you don't have any serious bruises, but you seem to have a fever. You seem like you were going somewhere, but please just rest for today. Yohaku san puts her hand on my shoulder and manages to make me stand up. Nah, I'm fine, I don't need to rest. I just ran all the way here, so I was just out of breath. That won't do. That won't do. How can you say that with such a pale face? Looking like you'll throw up. I was told by your physician 
to monitor your health closely. I can't let you take such risk. But I may have prompt Miss... If you want me to tell them that you can't make it, I can, I can go tell them. If you keep pushing yourself, I'll have to, I'll have to take out my syringe, syringes and give you shots. The, um, well, yeah, I know. I got all I gotta say to to that comment is like, it's Neil time, baby. <laughs> and we don't understand that reference, and yeah, you'll see in the future, I guess. As if she wants to keep me here, she stands in front of me. I have a headache. Kagasan is away. It's like Kagasan says that. Ah, okay, let's just save it just in case. <laughs> so you never know when endings. It's, it's like Kohaga Sansei's. Certainly, if I want to see Seo Senpai with, these he with this headache, I'll just be a bother. That's right. I haven't even had a chance to rest from last night. I guess I'll push myself a little. Then please rest. So then please rest, Shiki-san. Can you walk by yourself? Uh, no. It seems impossible right now. That's right. That's right. That's right. Oh, he sweet chan. Carry Shigi san to his room. Eh, nay, son, but. He sweet chan. Shigi san is sick. Are you going to abandon him like that? Uh huh. I will allow it for today. So please. I'll allow for today, so please take him to his room. Well, she's blushing so that is so cute. Uh. Yes. So sorry for saying so many, such selfish words. As long as you understand, it's fine. Do you find the medicine? Um, you had so many medicines. Is this the fever medicine? Ah, that's ah, <laughs> that's used for something else. I cannot laugh in girls' voices very hard. To... Shiggy san is still conscious, so we don't need to use that. Use best now stabilize him. Isn't his fever? Is I think too tired, so I'll make some. I'll I'll make some medicine. Oh. Gosh, don't make me a Chinese, drink Chinese medicines. I don't want to eat bulb testicles. <laughs> no, no, those Chinese medicines are like freaking crazy. Though they probably had some uses for because they exist for so long. So I don't know. Let's take a okay, cow medicine. Hey, sweet Chan, please take care of the rest. Gohaga son swiftly disappears towards the west wall where her room is. Oh, that is so damn adorable, her blushes. It's so nice. Shiki Sama, I'll take you to your room. With an excuse me, she lends me her shoulder. Thanks to Hizui's help, I managed to get up the stairs. All the way, even more than my terror throbbing headache, Hizui's incredibly embarrassed face burns into my memory. As it would anyone, because. Who wouldn't be attracted to this beautiful angel? In the end, I lie down in bed, drink the medicine Kohaku-san made, made, and trust her to pass on my message to Seo Senpai, who is waiting at the movie th in the movie theater. Gah! My headache doesn't stop. As if in exchange, my body seemed to cool down. Thanks to the goodwill of my Kasama, Nei san, received training in pharmacy. Until my Kasa passed away, she also consult, also in maintain his health. His face returned to his, to his usual lack of expression and tells me things I didn't even ask about. Yeah, but it's interesting, I guess. I don't know if it will lead to anything. I don't know. 
<sighs> Sharp pain stabs through my head. Even though I am in this much pain, she seems to be tending me without even batting an eyelash. Well, that's only to be expected. I'm the one in pain, not her. If she acted like she was in pain or a cloud, a cloud expression, it'll be, it will be troublesome. Ugh. Shiki-sama, are you still in pain? Sorry, Hisori. Yes, what is it? Ah, oh. I can't say this. By gosh, this. What a dick! <laughs> You're an eyesore, so please leave. I can't sleep with you here. I understand. Then please excuse me. If you need anything, please call for me. He soon leaves the room. With that, I actually do relax. My head also weakens, so maybe I'll sleep now. Those, those like, I don't know, lines. Knock, knock, or this. The door opens. Excuse me, Nissan. Are you awake? Yeah, I'm up. You need something, Aika? No, I heard you were resting because of uh, your Armenia, so I just came to see how you were doing. She looks over at me as I lie in bed, as a soft gaze that tells me she's worried. To be honest, it's annoying as hell. I'm fine. It's not that bad. That's why I'm resting here by myself. Go back to your room, Aika. Nissan, what are you saying? It's really dinner time, you know. I came here to tell you that. Dinner? Oh, it's that time already. But I'm not very hungry, and I don't feel like eating anything. I don't have an appetite, so I'll just skip dinner. I right, find so, so go away for today. I don't feel good. I understand. Please get your rest. But Nissan, if you are all awake, please turn the lights on in your room. Your eyes will go bad in the dark. I'm fine. I can, relax, I can relax this way. Even though her eyes tell me she wants to say more, she leaves the room. I'm so irritated. His reactions, I, uh, worried eyes, they all seem to treat me as something fragile. Well, you are kind of fragile, so it makes sense. It's, isn't this like always... It's not like I'm coughing bl up blood or sucking up blood. So why can't they just leave me alone? Okay, this is getting very suspicious. Do I know anything? Well, yeah, I played the game before, so I, I do know it. Even though I skipped most of this route. <laughs> and you'll see. You'll figure out what it is. In the darkness, I hear myself grinding my teeth. My nerves are fraying. I know that. If I stay awoke, uh, awoke, <laughs> awoke, awake, <laughs> awake like this, I'll become completely depressed. I think that's where I'll probably stop. I'm not tired, but I have to sleep. Oh, here we go. I go to, I go to the main street. The date has changed about two minutes ago. The dead of the night, on, sa on Sunday, no one's walking the streets. Did I mis- did I mistake that t the time? If I started walking around an hour earlier, I wouldn't had to work so hard. Dragging, walking, what makes this dragging sound? Isn't my walking something else? The time was right. Yeah, I need to change the voice. I don't know. Uh, let's see what voice I'll, I'll... I don't know, pick, I guess. 
The time was right. If I started walking an hour earlier, I would never would have been able to walk like this. Dragging one hand, gripping the woman's hair, I continued to walk. Long hair, because she looked like Aika. I chose this woman. Not her face, but I liked her hair. I let go of her hair. Unconsciously, she collapses to the ground. I did not kill her. I did not eat dinner. So I want to make it, it as appetizing as possible. I heard somewhere with the blood of the dead is cold and tastes terrible. I have no complaints about her unblemished neck. Gripping my knife in one hand, I draw the mouth closer. Close. I draw my mouth closer. After seeing that dream, I, wo I wake up. I wake up from my sleep and my mind starts to clear. My throat is horrible parched. My entire body feels excited. What kind of dream was I watching? I can't believe it. Maybe at night, knocking a woman I don't know unconscious and dragging her to an alley. That's just plain wrong. It's because it wasn't in, in a dream. It's okay, it's okay but I, I have to be crazy to do that in reality. My panting fills the room. I have to catch my breath. Rubbing my eyes, I take a deep breath. After that, I don't think I can go back to sleep. Turning on the light, I decide to read a book until the morning. <laughs> my eyes gradually get used to the dark. What? I gasp. This is in my room, a back alley, a knife in my hand. In front of me lies an unconscious woman I don't know. Huh. What What am I doing? Isn't this a dream? Isn't this what I dreamt about before? It has to be a dream, because I never wanted to do such a thing before. Attacking some woman I don't know, running my knife along the lines all over this, this subtle body, wanting to see red, red coming from the... Chop pieces. No way. No way. Yeah, there's no way I, w I want to do it. But for, for, for no reason, I'm thinking that I have to do it. Take her apart. Take her. Take her apart. Take her apart. Take her apart. Take her apart. If I do that, I can be released and become something unable to be bound by anyone. Come to think of it. There was someone that said something like that before. You're, you're the same. You're like me. We'll end up as a color tunnel, Shiki. Up. Yeah, I don't know. Should we shut up? I don't know. I just up. Just admit it, killer. Your inversion impulse is nothing more, more what you wish for. Shut up. But what is this? Just what is this? What am I? What am I doing? And even after realizing this, why am I still trying to press my knife against her neck? If this isn't a dream, and if this is reality, does that mean I'm crazy, like I thought earlier? Hmm. Her eyelids flutter. She starts to open her eyes. Before that, I had to chop her apart, or I ah, my knife moves. But that, but, but, that, who are you? I hear her voice. She suddenly realized the knife next to her throat. Yeah, yeah I can't do that. I'm not going to do the rest of the screen. I just do Kia. Her scream vanishes until my yelling. Yelling. Like a broken siren. I kept yelling as I run. I breathe rapidly. My fingers shake. My mind has gone blank. But I managed to pull my knife back and run before I slice her. Before I slice her. But if I, if she hadn't shown before, I would have. <laughs> scary. That's scary. Scarier than any of this that happened until now. Half laughing, half panting, I run. It's following me. 
It drapes over my back. No matter how much I run, I can't escape my own fear. I fly into my room and try to lock the door. I clamor about, but I can't even get it done. My fingertips, my fingertips shake crazily. It's just sliding a simple metal piece, but I can't do it. I'm scared. If I don't lock the door quickly, it'll come in. Some unknown thing will come in. Gah! I have to lock the door. I can't let it come in, in this room. I can't let leave this room. But why? I don't know. I don't know, but it continues to try and lock. I lock the door wildly. I try all night to lock the door. But no matter how long I try, I can't lock the door. That's when it hits me. I've been crazy all along. Well, that's... That's amusing. Yeah. That's... Oh, give me a second. 